Good evening, y'all. How's everyone doing tonight? Happy weekend. We've finally arrived. Uh, this week could go straight into the garbage can. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Hiya, Artie. Welcome. And uh, we miss you already, Bukaj. Sorry you couldn't make it today. Hiya, Grade Tree. Welcome. Oh, yeah, this this week was just something else. I don't really want to get into too much detail, but, like, yeah. It was just one thing after another, and I am just so, so heckin' glad it's over. Yeah. Welcome, Rumlock. Nice to see you. So a little bit different today. We're going to be doing some Final Fantasy XIV MSQ. Because, basically... Monday and Tuesday, we did Halo Infinite, you know, and we're kind of getting off track with with Endwalker MSQ. And, you know, Final Fantasy is still a big thing with me. So, you know, we're going to try and switch off between the two. I mean, that was really the whole point in, of me taking on Mondays also. What are you doing? Hey, Jaster, welcome. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yo! If you're, if, if y'all are in the Discord, like Karoja's joke today with the with the antibodies. I mean, I just, I I, w I was sitting in my car on my lunch break and I I just died. <laughs> totally died. Hi, Atuz. Welcome. So, yeah, you know, let me kill the music for sure, and then get on Steam. Do -do -do. Hopefully there's no update, because I don't really want to make y'all wait any more than you already have. Oh, we're good. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> I'm glad you braved the Reaper sauce today. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. That needs a cooldown. <laughs> I think it was a low-key good thing for team building. You know what? I agree. I mean, after, you know, the past couple of weeks, I think that, you know, our, our whole team has been kind of been run ragged, you know. And I think with I think with that and the actual heckin' great progress we made yesterday and today, I think that, yeah, I think we really, we, we really needed something like that. That was, that was a good, that was a good boost for everyone. Yeah, we key rushed it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm actually like as as kind of awful as this this week has been. I think that you know, I mean it's Friday night. I mean I should be like, oh heck, you know, I'm uh, I'm on a weekend. At the same time, I'm I'm stoked that like on Monday, like we're gonna continue crushing. Cool. Yeah, so like it, it so like a lot the the chat doesn't really know about the whole Reaper thing today. So what basically a coworker of what Jaster. Doing? And what's Adi doing? What's Adi doing? doing? What's Adi doing? Welcome Ayami. <laughs> and welcome Devourer. Thank you so much. Uh, so if, if folks don't know, basically, like a coworker of ours uh, went to like a really good local uh, chicken place and got some uh, Carolina Reaper um, like chicken strips. They had like this Carolina Reaper sauce on them. Super hot, at least for me. And basically, the deal was like you know you you tried a a, a piece of this this like chicken strip, right? And you get a basically a free milkshake. 
So basically, you know, all of us had like a bit and some of us had more than that. But like I had a little bit and I, I got, you know, my milkshake. But the thing is, though, in eating that little bit, it literally required the entire milkshake to extinguish. And even then, even after that whole vanilla milkshake, it was still there. So I finished that milkshake, and then I had we had pizza today, too, because that was the deal. If our team did really good, we got pizza. So we did really good. We got our pizza. Let's see, what happened? Demon God Slayer, thank you so much for the follow. Holy heck, welcome. Welcome, come on in. Kick up your feet. Get your Friday started. Or, yeah, it's probably already started for you, but, like... Let us continue the Good Friday vibes. But anyway, like, you know, like, I had the pizza, and even after the pizza, it was still, like, lingering. So I'm like, all right, you know, I gotta move on. But it was, it was really good. I was really surprised by that chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ayami. This, this, this is probably the hottest thing that I've had so far. It was it was no joke. But, you know, I it, it was for the team. I took it like a champ. A heckin' champ. All right. Okay, so where we left off, there was a Garlean Garlean here who was like who popped up and like he was taken away and now he's leading us somewhere so that's where I gotta go I used to eat the habanero peppers out of the garden my, at my godmother's oh my gosh you are brave <laughs> holy heck Gotta turn you down and lurk now, friendo. Spoiler free, I will remain. No worries, Jaster. Ah, there's Cairo. Cairo, good bean. Invite to team. There we go. I had a hot sauce drinking contest with my uncle, too. What? <laughs> you have a good weekend, too, Jaster. You earned it. So I'm thinking we have a couple of side quests here, so we're going to get rolling with those. It looks like there's only a couple, so. What are you doing? Hi, Mr. Fox. Welcome. Today's going good. Now that I'm not working. Nuts. I have a she Shiba who loves really spicy food. Spicy Sheba. Um, I beg your pardon, but I hear you're a woman of the world. We have a slight problem, and your knowledge might help us solve it. Actually, they came to me first. But when it comes to anything other than the martial arts, I am unable to provide much in the way of assistance. I did, however... Offer to find someone who can, so hopefully I may yet make myself useful. I redeemed all the pets. All right, I'll give you all the pets. <laughs> I'm still going to make one big pet. I need one giant pet. Just in time for me to bury my teeth into everything wings. Oh, that sounds good. I haven't had dinner yet, but, you know, it's okay. A man of the maelstrom is over by the storeroom, no doubt scratching his head as we speak. I'm sure he'd benefit from your wisdom. Right. They are over here somewhere. Oh, no, it's, yeah, it's the, it's the... Perpetually perturbed maelstrom officer. Perpetually perturbed, just like me. Just kidding. 
I was told someone would come out. I never thought it would be you. <laughs> I mean, my fursona is a hellhound Shiba Inu. Makes sense I love spicy food. Like I said, spicy Shiba. Nuts. Nut. There we go. Well, now that you're here, I'd like to take a look at this container we recovered from the Magna Glockies. It was one of several. In fact, no, no. though we've succeeded in cracking the, the others nozzle. open, no. this stubborn bugger refuses to yield. The nozzle. Nut. 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 The nozzle. Nut. Nut. Oh yeah, Cairo. Yeah. It's me, Austin. Yeah, I am. No. I, I am doing side quests before we uh, we move on there. All I know is a four-letter password is needed to unlock it. What that might be, I haven't the foggiest idea. There might be someone around here who either knows what it is or can point us in the right direction. Could you try asking around for me? Gather information and speak with a perpetually perturbed maelstrom officer. All right. And what does a Hawaiian? It's me, Austin. No. Sorry, I don't know the exact code, but given the container belonged to the Third Legion. Perhaps the password has some sort of significance to them? Hmm. There's a three in it. There has to be. You're Sanson, my good buddy. <laughs> it does, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to time it so it goes it's me nut <laughs> There's a Wilhelm I understand it's common for people to choose dates and so forth of special significant importance as their password. As for the members of the third, nothing springs to mind. Maybe an anniversary or something along those lines? Hmm. Container? Sorry, I've never had much to do with them. But if you're after clues that could lead you to the password, a little background information on the Third Le Legion might be of use. It was formed in the first year of Emperor Solus's reign, and spent the first few decades engaged in campaigns across the Northern Territories. In the 42nd year, for its exemplary service to the Empire, it was assigned a new role, the protection of the capital, a far more prestigious position. Hmm. Interesting. Hiya, Gabe. Welcome. Gabe Goodbean. this belonged to the Third Legion, they'd be the ones to pick the password, most likely make it easy to remember. That information we got about the history of the Legion might be a lead worth following, but we've no way of entering numbers, only letters.
Wait, that's it. Garlean numerals. Let's see. If three is written as I, 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 then if I take 42, hold on. X, L, I, I? Is that right? Worth a try, I suppose. It worked! Haha, <laughs> now to expand, inspect our treasure. What the bloody hell is this? A flag? Why would they bother keeping a thing like this locked away? Well, I'll pretend... I'll not pretend I understand their ways. Let's just assume they have a good reason for treating a bit of cloth with such reverence. Hmm. Probably best to leave it here undisturbed, as I've no intention of offending anyone. Could I ask you to pass on word of what we've found? Oh, and thanks for your help. Read this next quest's description. Hmm. So has the investigation finally reached its conclusion? A Garlean flag. We'd be wise to treat it with respect. The chain it bears represents the unity between the people of the Empire, a unity that is all but lost. To think that this banner would be locked away rather than pr raised proudly, a relic of Garlemald's past. Though they have long been our enemies, to see its people brought so low, I... Forgive me. I have spoken over much. <laughs> Thank you, Devourer. <laughs> it's the side quest you haven't accepted yet. Okay. Forgive me, I have spoken over much. Though the search did not uncover any resources to speak of, at least the mystery of the locked container can be laid to rest. You have our thanks. All right, What's Ronnie so doing? Which one is it? So we're getting some side quests wrapped up before uh, before we pop on over to more of the MSQ, because we're going to be led away from this area, I think. With treatment of the tempered continuing apace, who will care for the carers? Ah, uh, Sky, how are you doing? Welcome. Sky is a good bean. Let me give her a shout out. We do not have those clips enabled anymore, so that will not happen again. Ah, thank you so much, Ayami, for the shout. Excellent. So yes, um, Sky here, who is a tack rack, she did uh, all of the art for my uh, my three my three VTuber avs, uh, the pumpkin, the bean, and doing? this one. Uh, she did all of the emotes that we have for the channel, except for one. That one was a gift. But yeah, heckin' great artist. Definitely y'all should follow and uh, check out her streams. Definitely. It's, yes, Sky is very cute also. Could you spare a few moments to assist me? The situation's rather dire, I'm afraid. Even now, our healers continue to treat the Imperial troops encountered in the Magna Glacias, and prolonged use of curative magics has pushed them beyond their limits. To make matters worse, spending so much time around the Tempered, with all their raving and thrashing about, takes its toll on the care their carers. I dare say a few words of encouragement from the Champion of Eorzea will help raise their spirits. I also have a few bottles of ether to alleviate their fatigue. Would you mind distributing these among the healers? Yeah, let's do it. And I think that's what Cairo is doing right now, too. There we 
you. Oh, I've seen you before. You fought brave, bravely at the Nadam, as I recall. And you come bearing gifts? Yes. Treating the Tempered is a lot harder than I'd imagined. Before we came here, I'd only heard rumors of the condition. But to see it with my own eyes? No one deserves that. No one. <laughs> Artie, oh my gosh. <laughs> Does this smell like ether to you? <laughs> that's, the why, that's why the work we do is so important. Once I have finished resting, as I was ordered, I shall return to the patients. I thank you for your kindness. No, it's it's fine, Artie. That was that was that was really good, actually. <laughs> All right. Here's another one. A warrior, the warrior of light. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, I'm just doing my job, is all. No need to thank me. Well, truth be told, it's beginning to wear on me, bit by bit. I once lost a friend to tempering, and every time we manage to cure one of the afflicted, I'm reminded of those we couldn't save. If only we'd have a way, had a way of treating them, before they were. No, I mustn't let such thoughts cloud my mind. And we're all very grateful for the work of the Scions in creating this treatment. For my part, I'll do everything in my power to save as many lives as possible. There's another one up here. Despondent Conjurer. Hmm. hmm? Sorry, I was a bit distracted. Uh, you wouldn't believe some of the things I've seen. Those poor bastards. Calling out to Varus for salvation. Wailing out anthems praising the Empire. And then there's the screaming. Gods, I can still hear them. But I mustn't let that stop me from fulfilling my duty. I'll fill my ears with wax if I have to. And once I get this ether down my neck, I'll return to my post. Oof. Alright, I'm going to... Grab Nugs here. M Nugs will make things a little faster. Oh, and I forgot about all that Nugs drip. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, Tozu, wherever you are. Ah, uh, you finished your rounds then? Did the healers have anything to share? It's worse than I'd thought. Even the tempered we'd seen in our homelands did little to prepare us for the sheer numbers we've encountered here. Curing them all may appear to be an insurmountable task, but we must try. That's why maintaining morale and the well-being of our healers is so important. And you've made a valuable contribution. I'd like you to have this by way of my thanks. Island Mikabob. Awesome. It's a kebab made of Makoti meat. Gross. Hey, that's illegal. All right, here we go. Extras first, though, because I'm a good baby and remembered. We will only we we will do only as instructed. After all, this is what we have been striving for ever since we arrived. Mm. 
Where do you think their headquarters are? I assume there are a few others beside him and his, this commander, commander he mentioned. All right, this is far enough. Listen carefully. We head over that hill, then follow the road until we reach Liminal Station 4. Children in the lead, I want you where I can see you. We do have names, you know. I'm Alize, and he's Alphano. And last but not least, there's Adi. Adi? Where have I heard that before? No matter. Alphano and Alize will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about where there being many dangers. So you're to run, not saunter, run towards the station. If you even think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creatures bar the way, we go around them. Once you choose to depart, Julius will accompany you. Alphano and Alize will then begin moving towards the destination. Make your way to Liminal Station 4 without falling behind. If you leave Julius behind for any reason, or lose sight of Alphano and Alize, you may try again by returning to the starting point. Alright. Ready to make a dash for the station? Yes. Here we go. Ah, oh, Paula! <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Paula Goodbean. How's Paula doing tonight? Should definitely give Paula a shout out also. Paula, 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 Paula. Oh, Euro Truck Simulator. I have that on my Steam wish list. How did you like it? We'll stream that more in the future. Awesome. We're here, I think. It's nothing like the ones in Thanalan. Uh, thank you so much for the lurk, Muse. Thank you so much. This is it. The first stop, that is. Good. It looks like your friends knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? No. We're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Since it appears you've kept to your side of the bargain, we can carry on. I've also asked for a Ukrainian redesign for my library. Excellent. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to think of ways that I can I can do something like that too. I've been thinking it over. I'll probably have something done by tomorrow. North of the station is Regio Regio Dem Dem Demorum. Regio Demorum. One of the main residential areas, or at least it was. The afflicted roam the streets in packs. They are terrorists to shreds if given the chance. Keep close, no wandering off. Understood? We're getting closer to the Imperial Palace. If one can still call it that, it truly is a terrifying sight to behold. 
I wonder what sort of conditions Julius and his comrades are living in. If they have any sense, they've, they'll have picked somewhere like Victor's spoils to take shelter. From here, we'll be heading northeast. Keep to the left of the railway. While the route itself is straightforward, getting past the hordes unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. They would attack their own countrymen? Aye. They spare their own, but slaughter the rest without hesitation. Though we'll try to avoid detection, the chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. I will lead the way, but in the event we are seen, you're to fight them off. Those two will follow us, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they would be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back, I will not take that chance. With that said, let us proceed. Go with Julius and defeat the Tempered Soldiers. All right. Yeah, here we go. Let's do it. Easy. I see why your comrades chose you. Julius, our contingent has a cure for the afflicted, or tempered, as we call them. Your people would need to be taken into custody, that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. And Pepets, do I see a car? I guess that is a car. Interesting. As far as far as I and my legion are concerned, they are no longer our people. They're beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for their bleeding hearts. Come, we we have to keep moving. Ah, yes. The car that takes me to Wendy's. <laughs> Alright, there's the next one. There we go. It's time for some chili. Ah, uh, Paula, thank you so much for the lurk. Did we get a did we get Paula a shout out? Let me just let me just make sure here real quick. There we go. All right, let's do it. to watch you bear this burden alone. <laughs> Thank you, Tuz. <laughs> Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onward.
So, uh, what's up, Jawarer? How are you doing? Apparently, there's a Ukrainian ace now. The first in like 57 years. Awesome! Talk to the siblings. Okay. I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before only out of a desire to remain undiscovered, and that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. Yeah, the Ghost of Kiev. Absolute legend. Awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. What is that? A Saiga? Interesting. What's this? I want to get a good close look at them before before I go in there. Wow. They are extremely tempered. By the way, when I say when I say first, I didn't mean the first Ukrainian ace. I meant the first Ukrainian ace. The first ace in the world in 57 years. Okay. My chocobo is driving me up the wall here. Okay, here we go. Ah, shit. I'm sorry, Ryu. Look at what they have become. Would you still stand there and claim that they could be cured? <laughs> Those exposed to a vast quantity of a primal's ether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such vic victims are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you have seen these monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. Wow, this dude is a piece of work. He still doesn't really understand what all that is. So he's just going to keep killing. Talk to the extras first, Adi. Don't be dumb. Even here in the outskirts, it's plain to see how vastly different Garlemald is compared to other cities. Though I wish there was another way, I thank you for keeping us from harm. We're almost there. You have kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine. This way. Ah, uh, John, how you doing? Welcome.
This is the Tertium, one of Gar Garlemald's largest stations. It now serves as our headquarters. We've already sent the twins ahead. I will be with you soon, so wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. Talk to him again. All right. Go on, down the stairs, like I told you. Or is this your first time into an underground station? They're all over Garlemald. Even during severe blizzards, we could use them to travel from one end of the city to another. Back when they were still in operation, that is. I'm doing great. I played Halo Infinite today. I got a win at Rockingham yesterday in NASCAR Legends on iRacing. Oh, awesome! That sounds great. And I heckin' love Halo Infinite. I think it's so well done. You sense the presence of a powerful mark. He clearly has no in intention of speaking with you. I'm on Island 4 now. I have to go back and get the missing collectibles I didn't get earlier. Uh, <laughs> stairs? What stairs? Yeah, there's no stairs. They have ramps, yes. I had no idea they had such expansive structures built underground. That place would be lousy with skateboarders. You're not wrong. It's plain to see why they chose this as their base of operations. They could have done a lot worse. Even so, I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed. And if Julius was willing to make the perilous journey to Camp Broken Glass in search of food, their own supplies must be all but exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and the snow, but it's still bitterly cold. Much like Vic Victor spoils, it must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. Lower your voices. While you may be here as my guests, the others will not take kindly to your presence. My commander is in the locomotive over there. I think all of these people are just not going to speak with me. Snow cancelled work today, so I played Halo Infinite all day today. That sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> I'd probably do the same thing. I will deal with you in a moment. Hi, Atozu! Hello, I am here. Sorry I had a Merlot and lost track of time. I made a roast beef. These awesome. are the chosen representatives. Oh, welcome, Tozu. Glad to see you're here. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir.
I present to you our commander. Lord Quintus Van Kina, Legatus of the First Legion. The First? I had no idea you had survived. We lost our Emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. I made it with... I made it with garlic, rosemary, onion, salt, and pepper, and a red wine and beef stock demi-glace. Oh, that sounds so good. If y'all want to do some raidy stuff tonight, I'd be game. I don't know about tonight, but certainly tomorrow night. I still have yet to plan anything, because, like, I don't, I don't know if folks would be... I didn't know if folks after this week would be up for, for raiding. But we'll see. I'll poke a message out uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning about it. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. Elden Ring has been sucking a bit of my soul. Yeah, I bet. And I figured as much. You know, it, it, I mean, it was just released like a day or two ago, or even today. I don't even know. But I don't know. I was kind of considering this weekend to be kind of like an off-raid weekend because I figured that the folks who would be wanting to play Elden Ring would want to play that and it would be hard to tear them away from it just to do a raid with me. Especially especially Eden, because Eden is not the easiest. I talked with uh, Corosia, and uh, he talked with uh, Cerberius of Brad, and uh, said they had quite a time with the next few. So I guess we'll see. I'd enjoy spending time with you over Elden Ring. Okay, well, that's fair. Okay, well, let me, uh... Let me put the feelers out, either tonight or tomorrow morning, um, to see... to see what we can do about raiding, like, tomorrow night. Because I would really actually love to raid tomorrow night and, uh, and Sunday night, if possible. feelers are you an ant uh, no but i have whiskers <laughs> we have no intention of adding to your misfortunes nor do we bear you any ill will spare me though you children may speak in earnest overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears so long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste, yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. <laughs> Save me. I've played Path of Exile for 130 hours for the past two weeks. Oh my god. <laughs> it's that good, huh? It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, I. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. It's addicting if you like ARPGs. Hmm. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. 
We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. And after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference. To make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Because nobody wants to be under the boot of a fascist boot heel? Just saying, just putting it out there. Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ? That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not? Disparity is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you, if you cooperate. We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up. As by dawn, you would be frozen stiff, and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment. But there is one condition. Collar them. What are these?
incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. You needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... <laughs> Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? On the coldest, blackest of nights, meager though it may be, we must share the warmth of our fire. Wow. Good old whore Harchifont. You are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. You will be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. Great, so we're prisoners. Hmm. How nice. Yep, and there's that music. Already nailed it. will take more than a trifle such as this to deter us. Compared to what Garlemald's people have suffered in recent days, these colors are a minor inconvenience. I have to remind myself not to touch it. Even if it starts to itch, I'd rather not set it off by accident. Anyway, enough about that. Let's learn what we can from the refugees. Lord Quintus's instructions, I am to supervise you during your time here in the in Tertium. Before you ask, no, I don't have a key or any other means to remove your collars, nor would I tell you if I did, and if you try anything, you'll soon wish you hadn't. So, do you truly intend to speak with the others, or was that merely a ruse? We're in no hurry to disobey Lord Quintus if that's what you mean, or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of his decision? Do as you will, but remember, I'll be watching. If I catch wind of you doing anything untoward, trying to trick our people into turning their coats and the like, those shock collars will be the least of your worries. Understood? Though we're somewhat compromised, to put it lightly, let's not waste this opportunity. I suggest splitting up and learning what we can of their situation. And above all else, don't use magics of any sort. You, on the other hand, may go wherever, wheresoever you wish, even outside the camp. I knew full well I couldn't stop you if I tried. 
But do not forget, if you do anything to endanger us or our interests, Alphano and Alize will pay the price. Wow, this dude's a dick. You came with Jolus, didn't you? Well, whatever business brought you here, you'd best keep your hands off that Aetherite. It's deactivated, but I'd rather you didn't mess about with it. There are others throughout the city, built by Garleans for Garleans, could teleport all over in the blink of an eye, provided there was a terminal nearby. These days, however, we use the Aetherite's power to keep this place lit, though that comes at the cost of its normal function. Hmm. This radio is the same model as the one used at Victor's Spoils. Perhaps it is what saved the soldiers here from being tempered. Hmm. I know who you are. The so-called champion of Eorzea. Come to gloat, have you? I'll wipe that smirk off your face. By the blood of our fallen compatriots, I swear I'll... Ugh. Damn, tore the sutures. Of all the times, the worst of the lot within striking distance, and I can't even muster the strength. Can you talk to the NPCs in the area when you're out of CS? Hmm, okay. If it weren't for the third bleeding us, we'd be the end of you. Virgilia's treachery nearly cost Lord Quintius his life. But we made our escape, took shelter in the mansion, tended to the wounded as we prepared to strike back. And then night fell and we gathered around the radio. Then the roar, the terrible roar. The capital was in chaos, but we were spared. If you call this a mercy, mind intact but body broken, a soldier in name alone, I'll cut you down where you stand if I could, murderer. So Cairo, what NPCs were you talking about? Waiting for that, I'm gonna go over to the all of them really. Okay. I'm gonna check this thing out. Hmm. What's the command? Look? No. Not really. Not that any of them had anything nice to say, but that's not surprising. Oh, look out. Okay. I got part of it right. It's you, Adi Squeegee. I, I I served under Lord Gaius in the 14th Legion. I was there on the night the Praetorium fell. You and your adventurers, you killed them. My comrades, my friends, swept them aside in their dozens, as though they were nothing to you. Nuts. Nuts. Hiya, Roblox. Welcome. Hope you're doing well tonight. Happy weekend. And maybe I am too. Just another faceless enemy to be cut down. But it won't be long until our countrymen return. Until you get what you deserve. Mark my words. Ceruleum and other necessary materials are in short supply. 
I'm not sure how long we can last on the stores we have. Hmm. Interesting. Those Oh no, okay. So those we're on the we're on the other side now, all right. This is cold. This younger soldier is on the verge of losing consciousness. Get out of my ear, will you? I'm exhausted, and the last thing I need is you and your drivel. So cold, and probably hasn't had a proper meal in days. If only we'd brought some food with us, but perhaps I could use a little magic to... No, I mustn't. Gods, this is so frustrating. Did you learn anything of note? Then your findings are consistent with my own. Their plight is desperate indeed. The sick and injured are at greatest risk. Without warmth and proper nutrition, I fear, I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help me tend to them? Assist Flavius. Okay. No matter what may be tied, I have my daughter, and that alone shall keep me from succumbing to even the darkest of nights. never been this cold or this hungry in all my life. While Garlemald was built on a frozen waste, the city itself was always a warm, inviting place. Now all we ha now all we once had is in ruins. Who's there? My eyes they I can't see all that well. Ah, thank you. The numbness has subsided a little. But I know I won't mess I won't last much longer. You should look to the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. If me going hungry means someone else lives to see another day, so be it. At least I can at least I can still serve in that way. did that one. So those you met fare no better? I was afraid you would say that. I know we were warned against meddling in their affairs, but we can't leave them like this. Perhaps we might gain permission to have the contingent deliver supplies? Quintus may have made his feelings on the matter quite clear, but even he must recognize they are not in a position to refuse help. Maybe Julius could persuade him? Though, we need to persuade Julius first. Hmm. Well, seen enough? Julius, the people here have barely enough food and fuel to survive. Have you and the other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? Hmm. 
We've been scavenging provisions from the nearby houses, as most families keep... kept, rather. Some stored away in the event they were snowed in. Still, going out and getting it is dangerous work, and we have a lot of mouths to feed. Fuel is the greater concern, though. We had some ceruleum set aside, until it was stolen. We haven't identified the culprit. Could be other refugees, or one of the afflicted, for all we know. Either way, we're down to the last dregs. Without the heating they need, those in poor health are only going to get worse instead of better. If it's ceruleum you need, our contingent has secured a ready supply. We can have some sent over. We will not accept your charity. If we can hold on a little longer, the situation is sure to change. Aye, everything will change. Yeah, but it won't. One of your comrades mentioned something along those lines. Heard something of it, have you? Well, from what I've seen, there's little you could do to interfere. So there's no harm in telling you. One of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted. Or in the bastard's words, loyal servants of the Talaferoi. Then, he made his way inside the Imperial Palace, or what stands in its place. We'd identified the seat of the enemy's power, we realized. Lord Quintus's Lord Quintus dispatched a messenger to the Tenth Legion saying as much, and instructing them to join forces with the provincial re legions to prepare for a combined assault on the Telephoroi. Once our allies arrive, your contingent will be sent running for the hills. Then we shall reclaim the capital by our own hand. Wow. That is not gonna go well. And how do you intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before reinforcements reach Garlemald. They need help now. Say the word and we'll bring you Ceruleum. I will speak with Lord Quintus. So, did he agree to it? No. He will not place Garlemald in the debt of her, neighbor, er, her enemies. I have, however, been ordered to search for Ceruleum outside. As you are under my watch, you will come with me. Very well. After all, many hands make light work. You lot are more trouble than you're worth. Well, you chose to bring us here. Once we are outside, you will follow my instructions to the letter. We depart shortly. Without our healing magics, there's little we can do for these people beyond offer words of encouragement. But this way, we'll be able to offer some, them tangible assistance. Although this is hardly the solution we had in mind, I will have I will have to suffice for the time being. I'm gonna hydrate. That sounds like a great idea. We will begin our search for Ceruleum in Regio Ur Urbanissima. 
The first location is Forum Solius, a park to the southwest of this region, of this station. You are to remain close at all times and act only as ordered. Follow me. Alrighty, Tuz. Take care, okay? Have a good sleep. Ooh, there's an aether current up there. I want that first. place. To think this macabre graveyard for War Machina was once a park. Damn, the landscaping. I want the sparkly. <laughs> So this is the park. I'm surprised they found space for one amongst all these buildings. Actually, the recreational areas came first. The houses were later built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play and adults to socialize. The park was named after the founding father of the empire, the great Solus Vos Galvis. Did we come to extract Ceruleum from the wrecked Magitek armor? No, we've already drained it dry. Same goes for the rest of the Machina in the vicinity. But as our Ceruleum has been stolen, we must scour the city for every last drop. And while I don't expect to find anything here, I've decided to try one more time, in case something has been overlooked. I see. Then with your permission, we will commence with the search. All right, uh, one one second, folks.
Alrighty, sorry about that. It's getting a little chilly, so I needed to get some long sleeves on. Alright. Shop counter. Though rather small by Garlean standards, the structure is reminiscent of a merchant stall. Perhaps it was built for children to play at a at shopkeeper. There's nothing inside resembling Magitech or any other devices that could be fueled by Cerulean. Several points of interest are marked on the map of Forum Solius. The pond, children's play areas. To your knowledge, however, none would require the use of Cerulean. Hmm. There's one over here. Cursory inspection of the wrecked Magitek armor confirms that the fuel canisters have long since been drained of ceruleum, as Julius said. Hmm. Ah, there's another lookout over here. to grab this. The contraption is built in the style of Imperial War, War Machina, armed with a battery of weapons capable of transforming into different configurations, but on closer inspection it appears to be more than a children's slide. This, whatever it is, appears to have some sort of symbolic meaning relating to this park. Even though the place is named after Solus, it doesn't seem to be a statue of him. Well, at least not anymore. Maybe it was once a fountain? Or somewhere the man himself used to sit? Not that it would matter. Even if we knew, but I can't, st I can't help wondering. Where's Alphano? Oh, there he is. Twitch being a dork lost my sounds. Ah. Uh. I don't imagine there would be much need for Magitek in a park of all places. But then again, I wasn't raised in Garlemald. They may have uses for Ceruleum that I've yet to consider. Oh, it's you. Any luck? There's no sign of any ceruleum. Hmm. Hardly surprising, but disappointing nonetheless. I couldn't help noticing you gazing at the pond. Is something the matter? What 
Yes. I mean, no. I'm... It's just, I used to bring my brother and sister here to play. The pond was heated to stop it from freezing over, so like all the other children, they just had to wade in and splash about. Would have stayed here if I didn't drag them out. We'd be sopping wet when all was said and done, every time. And every time, when we'd get home, Mother would scold us, saying we'd catch our death walking around like that. The pond was heated. With a cerulean-powered heater, by chance? I suppose it must have been, come to think of it. I remember seeing the engineers changing out a tank beneath a, la beneath a hatch. But that was a long time ago, when the water still flowed clear and wasn't this bra brackish muck. We can't see a thing, and I can't remember where the hatch might be. With the machinery most likely broken, the amount of filth in there must be probably the only reason it hasn't fl frozen over. I'd wager it's still unbearably cold, though. Jillis, what are your thoughts on magic? The average Garlean would jump out of their skin if they saw it. But the first has a few foreign sig signif signiferi and medicii, so it doesn't scare me. Then I take it you won't mind if I employ a little a little now? Alphano, as you have a knack for finding dry wood, why don't you bring me some? Once that's done, a blast of verfire should do the trick. Leave it to me. You're not planning to go in there, are you? Of course I am. That tank isn't going to fetch itself. It's nothing so involved as extracting unprocessed ceruleum from a frozen lake, like how the tappers do it. We're talking about a shallow pond in a park, and we have a way of warming ourselves up after. But that's insane! So, fancy a dip? A little friendly competition might make things interesting. Last one to find a ceruleum tank is a rotten egg. Though, I dare say we both will smell like rotten eggs when this is over. The third answer was pretty funny, yeah. <laughs> Delve in the murky water, but come up empty handed. Still empty handed. Fingers catch on what you think might be a handle. Okay. <laughs> you open the hatch and retrieve a ceruleum tank. But now I'm stupid cold. However, your grand discovery comes at a great personal cost, as you become acutely aware of the freezing cold and rancid odor emanating from every elm of your body. Julius will doubtless feel compelled to pinch his nose shut when you deliver to him your prize. I'm a stinky baby. You f f found it? Hm. There must be another one around here s somewhere. Did 
Did you find anything? <laughs> I hope you did. That's it. And there's still some ceruleum left. Ah, uh, that fire is still not ready. Hold on. I'll give Alpha Noah a hand. That may be the stupidest thing I've heard in a while, and that's saying something considering who my brother is. <laughs> Call me an old Don because by fire I am reborn, and my clothes are mostly dry now too. I appreciate you recovering the ceruleum, but I wish you'd taken the time to discuss the plan with me beforehand. Despite the way you've been treated, as in Lord Quintus's eyes, you're still envoys deserving of protection. If you were to die on my watch, he would be most displeased. Your concern is duly noted, but all's well that ends well. Julius, you mentioned coming here with your younger siblings. Did you grow up in Garlemald? I did, not far from here. My father was an accomplished researcher. What? What, what, what? Oh my god! Cinny, holy heck! Holy heck, thank you so much! That is a big raid. Holy crap! <laughs> thank you so much, Cine! Holy crap! Thank you so much for the follow, Roxas Hedge. Heck. Let me give you a shout out real quick. What are you doing? Holy heck, anybody in my anybody in my stream, please go follow Screaming Doggo. Please, please, please. They are pretty much the uh, I can be great variety streamer. All sorts of different games. Like, some games I've never even heard of. Holy heck. Thank you so much. And for all of you, that, for all of you that, who don't know uh, about me at all, uh, my name is Adi. Um, I'm a transfery gamer from Oregon. I play mostly RPG games like Final Fantasy. I really <laughs> Oh my gosh, pet pets. Uh, I may I mainly play like RPG games, uh, like Final Fantasy 14 here. I really enjoy just getting in the weeds of stories and stuff like that and you know, I play a lot of these types of games for the first time through on stream. And I have a lot of theories on how things go and stuff like that, even though they're not always accurate. But it's fun to just find out stuff along the way, you know? And it's... There's so many great games out there that tell an awesome story. And just... Final Fantasy XIV is probably very, very close to the pinnacle of that type of storytelling. Um, the community around here, we're mostly you know, we're mostly friends, and we like to keep things chill and relaxed here. And we talk about like kind of all all sorts of things, like good but good stuff, bad stuff, what ha what have you. So if that seems like your jam, please feel free to uh, drop a follow. Um, we also have a Discord too, which you're more than welcome to join. Uh, let me pop the Discord link out real quick. Here we go. But heckin' y'all, thank you, thank you so much for coming by. And Hyacinthi, thank you so much. So how was the stream tonight? Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So, let me tell y'all the story about that game and me. That goes back all the way to when I was a little kid. I had the original beige Game Boy with the spinach green screen. And like that, like, Legend of Zelda has always been a favorite franchise of mine. And I was so, so excited that it had finally come to Game Boy. So I bought it. I still have the cartridge somewhere. I swear I saw it recently. Yeah, you know what? I did. I know exactly where it is. It's that big-ass gray cartridge, right? 
And it was it was so great to play, and I never I never finished it. I got most of the way through it, I think, but I never finished it. Ah, uh, Pedro, welcome. <laughs> that old Game Boy green screen <laughs> equals I <laughs> had to use street lights to make a move while on road trips. Yep, same. Well, finally, like one Christmas, my parents got me the uh, the Game Boy magnifier thing that had the like, two little lights in it, and that was great. But holy heck, yeah. I got some good news. I found a job. Congrats, Pedro. Holy heck, you must be excited. Congrats. I'm so glad to hear that. But yeah, that Switch remake of uh, Link's Awakening is, from what I've seen, is really, really good. And I hope you had a ton of fun with that. Holy heck. So let me go through the let me go through all the new followers here. Thank you so much, Roxas Hedge, uh, Hyena Toofs. I've seen you around, uh, Zen Sachio, and MMX three seven seven. Thank you all so so much for the follows. That means so much. The tail and ear movements are so nice, and those eyes. Ah, thank you so much. So the artist for the artist for this avatar and all of my other ones is Attack Rack. Uh, she also goes by the name of Sky, and I think she might still be lurking here somewhere in the stream. She was earlier, but she did such a heckin' good job with this avatar and all of the other ones too. She's such a great artist. And y'all, if you ever if you are not following her yet, you definitely should. So I'll give her a shout out so you can get so you can get the opportunity to do it. But there you go. I played this Final Fantasy XIV for nine years. I'm on Excalibur server. Oh, that's really funny. So am I. <laughs> I'm on Excalibur. Primal. Yep. Uh, main three main three tanks and four DPSs. Pray Hrothgar often then Hure. Interesting. Small world actually. I'm a Makoti, but like, uh, but yeah, most mostly DPS for me. But MMX, I mean, honestly, if you if you want, you can totally uh, you can totally uh, group up with us sometime. You know, sometimes we do some raids too, which we might be doing some normal raids this weekend if you're interested. If you pop onto the Discord, we have a uh, fi uh, Final Fantasy XIV raid crew section. Um, if you ever wanted to join us, uh, we uh, we regularly publish our plans there. I played for about three to five years, and I'm Makoti tank main, but I can play any role. Oh, that's cool. I mean, honestly, the more the merrier. Y'all are totally welcome to do that. Got coils to do, still need to get through Eden, and then there's the Stormblood raids we haven't done either. Yeah, there's that. And we're kinda doing we're kinda doing raids here and there, uh to kinda supplement the MSQ since this is my first time through the main story. And there's some uh there there's some uh raids that add a little flavor to that from what I hear. So coils we just uh we just unlocked last weekend. Although we didn't get to really raiding uh, very much then. Well, we might this weekend, so yeah, definitely. Definitely pop in there. Actually, speaking of which, let me check to make sure. Let's see here. Okay. So, uh, if if anyone does join the Discord, uh, definitely like ping me or something like that. and uh, Because you'll end up on the welcome mat. And uh, from there, you have to be approved before you get through the before you get through to the rest of the server, which we can do that pretty quick. Still need to get the Stormblood mounts, but my gear isn't quite strong enough to solo it yet. Yeah, I think I don't know if I'm geared up enough for that yet. I've never done them before. 
Oh yeah, I finished all expansions and Walkers 2. I won't spoiler everything to you. Oh, please don't. Oh my gosh, it's it's been a long time getting here. Adi, there's also another thing. I haven't been here lately for a reason. Uh, I'm recovering from a nasty, nasty sciatica. Oh, yikes. Back problems are no joke, Pedro. So yes, definitely take it easy. Uh, thank you all so much for popping in. It really means a lot. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cindy, for doing that. You're a heckin' good bean. My father was an accomplished researcher in his youth, and for his contributions to the Empire awarded an estate, we lived well, better than many. Not back, it targeted both my legs. Oh, yikes. This game has been a constant joy since I started playing it. Even if I'm a solo player. I mean, that's that's the interesting thing with Final Fantasy XIV, is that you could certainly get, like, a heckin' great multiplayer experience, but the solo experience, too, is almost equally as amazing. I mean, you could really get into the stuff. I mean, it's... Uh... So I started playing about five years ago, and then when, my, uh, when all of my friends quit playing and uh, moved on to different stuff, I kind of let my sub lapse. But, you know, when I, uh, when I started streaming, like, lots of my f streamer friends were playing also. And I kind of got, like, inspired to resub. And, oh my gosh, am I glad I did. So basically, after a five-year hiatus, I picked up where I left off. I'm free to play whenever I'm online. Okay. What was Garlemald like in those days? Everything. It was everything you could imagine, and so much more. Even during the coldest winters, we always found warmth and comfort at home. Coming in from the snow, taking off your coat, and sitting down for a hot meal with family. Visiting friends and relatives, receiving that same welcome, knowing they had everything they needed. Walking down the street, seeing the lights in all the houses, hearing the faint sounds of laughter and song of happiness. And although the summers came and went all too quickly, in that brief respite, the ice would melt and the forgotten grass made its triumphant return. Gray clouds ga gave way to blue skies, some mornings, we'd climb to the top of the tallest building we could find to watch the sunrise. Never again. Those rooftops are rubble, those friends dead, and those memories. But if I could reclaim even a fraction of what we once had... Soon, our chance will come. We just need to hold on a little longer. Also, I completed Endwalker, and I loved the story. I just feel sad because it felt so short. Oof. Yeah, don't tell me anything about it. I am invested <laughs> in the story, holy heck. Owing to the wealth of experience I've accrued in gathering firewood, I was even able to provide Julius with some basic pointers on the subject. I thought it might help to further build a rapport, and to distract him from his other concerns. Well, at least my clothes are finally dry. Though they could still do with a proper wash. Uh-oh, Alize is still stinky. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to spoil you, relax. Oh, okay, I'm, that's fair. I trust you. Alright. 
Now that you've recovered from your escapades in the pond, there's another location I'd like to search, just outside the park. Alright, and where are we going? Uh, I see, I see uh, Cairo's little blue dot. Extras first, like a good baby. Everything was built on an enormous scale, and with thick, cleanly cut stone. Much like Amarot, given what we now know, such similarities are no coincidence. Ah, uh, Amarot. That was an experience. The War Machina appears to be patrolling the area of its own volition. I wonder whether it is simply following its original orders, or if it now serves the Talafaroi. Hi, Roblox. Welcome. As you can see, this place is littered with the remnants of various types of war machina. While my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks from the less damaged units... Oh, we are slowly making our way through the Final Fantasy XIV MSQ. Currently, we're scavenging for ceruleum because we need it to keep some folks warm that we found. I met Selk. Rip, we shall always remember you. Indeed. I think as villains go, he was probably one of the most well done that I had encountered in a long time. I mean, you hate him at first. He's annoying. The sound of his voice just makes your blood curdle. <laughs> but, like, after a time, you just kind of, you get used to him. You get used to him, and, like, you know, he's almost likable. Even though he's trying, he's doing all this aw awful stuff. The more you learn about him, the more you kind of, you kind of, you kind of almost side with him, really. You can relate. Yeah. He was really well done. And so literally I've taken to... I've, I'm on Twitter a lot between my two accounts. And uh, I've taken to retweeting every single picture of Emmett Selk that I see come across my timeline. <laughs> it was just so good. While my comrades and I have already recovered tanks from the less damaged units, those that took a more severe beating are harder to scavenge. We decided to save those for another time, that time being now. Rather than prize them apart piece by piece, it would be quicker to remove the outer casing using compact explosives. With luck, we'll gain access to the tanks without rupturing them. Yeah, how does the how does the quote go? Let me let me look that up. The quote that just about made me cry when I read it or when I heard it. Cool Fire Dragon 4. Thank you so much for the follow. And welcome. Heckin' good bean. I can remember a portion of it, so let's see. Remember us. Remember that we once lived. It chilled me to the bone and almost made me cry. It was just so... When he said that, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Oof. Though the force generated by these devices is relatively weak, I would advise you to stand well clear to avoid being hit by shrapnel. 
Before even bothering, though, you should check the Machina's Ceruleum gauge to see if there is any left. It should still provide an accurate reading, even when the unit itself is inactive. If the gauge is broken, I'll let you decide whether to use an explosive or not. Should you need more, come to me. Understood. Let's get to work. Alright. According to the Ceruleum Gauge, this, this unit's fuel tank is empty. Well, I'm not going to blow it up then, if it's empty. The Cerulean Gauge on this unit appears to have been broken, giving you no way to determine how much fuel is in its tank. After successfully removing the War Machina's outer casing and retrieving the Ceruleum tank, you find it to be completely empty. Uh, yuck. We'll avoid that automated satellite for now. There's two more to check. Okay. The Ceruleum gauge on this unit appears to have been broken, giving you no way to determine how much fuel its tank may hold. After successfully removing the War Machina's outer casing and retrieving the Ceruleum tank, you find it to be completely empty. Okay. And there's a mass of jiggly eyeballs in the distance that I don't want to, uh, anger. Oop, there's one back here. Oh, but I think I'm out of explosives. I need more. Ah, oh, there's Julius. Yeah, maybe you're just, maybe you're just magic, Ryu. Need some more? Here. I have a fair amount of explosives to spare today, but tomorrow is another story. We can't afford to waste them on units with nothing to offer, so be sure to check the gauge first. Of course, if the gauge is damaged, it's up to you to make the call. I'm too good at the game. <laughs> nah, I think you're just magic. Good night, Pedro. Take care. Uh, congrats on that new job. I'm really, su I'm super happy for you. That's awesome. According to the Ceruleum Gauge, this unit's fuel tank is empty. I'm not doing that. Okay. What about this one? The Ceruleum Gauge on this unit appears to have been broken, giving you no way to determine how much fuel is in the tank. Okay. Come on, we gotta hit pay dirt here. You retrieve the War, War Machina Ceruleum ta th tank to find it is still half full, or half empty, depending on one's perspective. Either way, Julius will surely be pleased by your discovery. Here we go. Awesome. Cool. Have a great night, Pedro. Take care. More explosives? Wait, is that what I think it is? Uh, it is. You've done it again. Truly, luck is on your side. With this, we should be able to refuel quite a few of our heaters. It's time we headed back. Wait, wait here while I go and see how Alize and Alphano are faring.
I wonder how many people just wait here and don't click on the little sparkly things. I wonder how long they wait here, not realizing they have to click that. Finally escape the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Oh. Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. Some great screenshots here. Why am, how am I so cute? After you left with the Garlean lad, Lucia bade a few of our scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. Oh, pumpkin! First pumpkin of the night. Y'all are going easy on me today. Pumpkin! <laughs> when you emerged sometime later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitek collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Legatus himself, eh? Now there's a surprise. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. So that's what it's called. Tower of Babel. Hmm. An interesting development. And perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news, but it's still too early to get our hopes up. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. They had not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. I forgot we had like a little communication device. I forgot, I totally forgot about oh, that. Oh, there you are. Heard you'd gone hunting for ceruleum above ground. Brought back a king's ransom? Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for savages, they seem positively docile. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Alize. <laughs> uh, it's a poor attempt at humor. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Lord Quintus! Use what you procured to refuel the armor. Uh, what? But, sir... What about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us.
My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. Wow, I didn't foresee that coming. The time for action. What did he mean by that? I can only speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now, or after they join with the Tenth, is another question. escape this cult? Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eula spoke? Finished your war, Council? Alphino and Alizea are to stay here as our prisoners. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? For now. Keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. I gotta go have a great experience of Final Fantasy XIV. Bye. MMX, thank you so much. Take care of yourself, okay? And have a great night. And sleep well when you get there. Do as he says. Get them out of here. This is getting interesting. Hmm. Alphano and Alize will be fine, providing they do not resist. You will accompany me back to your camp, where I will meet with your leader and present Lord Quintus's demands. Before we depart, however, there is something I would ask of you. Assuming your contingent complies, the supplies they surrender will need to be transported here. That task falls to legionnaires Marcellinius and Octavia, who will pilot Magitek armor to your headquarters. You are to inform them that we are leaving shortly. Tell them to ask Ask the Isle f for... Is that how you say that? 
I-Y-L. Ask the Isle for further details in those words. Once you've seen to that, meet me by the exit. Hmm. This is interesting. I wonder if there's a little mutiny in the works? Maybe? You again. Ask the Isle, he said. <laughs> so that's to be the way of it after all this. How ironic that you should be the one to deliver the news. If those are my orders, then so be it. For the glory of Garlemald. I have a feeling this is not going to end well. What do you want with me? Ask the eel, or the isle. So Lord Quintus has reached a decision. I knew he would understand, that he would recognize the savage is a ruthless, merciless c creature. And to defeat him, we too must be uncompromising. I am ready. In the name of Emperor Varus, the the, for the glory of Garlemald, I will fulfill my duty. Or maybe not. Maybe that's not what I think is going on. Ugh. It's not so easy to figure out the story before it happens. Not At least not with the way that storytelling usually plays itself out in Final Fantasy XIV. Two very different reactions? Yeah, right? I have a feeling one is the correct one, and the other is something that's... the. I think that the... the the writer, the the writers of the story, have uh, put in there to throw us off, throw us off the scent. But which one is which is anyone's guess, right? Have you done as instructed? What do you mean by ask the eel? I am not at liberty to divulge that. What I can say is this. You have no cause for concern if our demands are met. You and I are in this together. Like it or not, we have to cooperate. There is one other matter. A place I'd like to visit on the way to your camp. It's a short walk from here. Follow me. As long as there's a Wendy's drive through on the way. I need my Nuggies. Oh, Nuggies. I have some Nuggies. This feels like it's going to be a smash and grab. Yeah, it it kind of feels like that. But I think it's more it almost seems like more sinister than that. <laughs> Cairo dri drives a bit like Master Chief. Well, which Master Chief are we talking about? Are we talking about Master Chief the soldier dude or are we talking about Master Chief my fantastic looking horse? from Secret of the Magic Crystals. Huh? 
There we go. I'm going to talk to Eulis first. Give me a moment, please. Eulis lingers by the ruins, reluctant to leave and reluctant to stay. Unable to move on. Um, in Halo Infinite. I missed the horse. You need to check out my VOD from Tuesday, then. <laughs> you really do. So, Hobo Hound, who was in the chat, redeemed Pony Hour. So my first hour of the stream on Tuesday was Secret of the Magic Crystals. <laughs> it's up on YouTube, too, if, it's, if that's easier than the Twitch VOD thing. Oh, actually, speaking of YouTube... Oh, no, there's been links. Okay. I'll give it one more time, though. There we go. That's the YouTube link. That's where I, I put all of our raw VODs and, like, highlights and clips. Which, there's a, there's a little bit right now. There's a ton of VODs, but... There we go. <laughs> Devourer, how you doing? We're slowly making our way through this MSQ. Eulis lingers by the ruin. Okay, I already read that. Wait here? Yes. This is my home. Yep. Ah, home. At least it was until that night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister they were still inside but they weren't themselves and they they tried to and I had to oh my gosh I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning to somewhere safe to hide until the fighting stopped Promised. The Garlean flag bears a chain, the bonds between our countrymen. A red link at its center, the blood of the fallen, our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemald. But if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? Sorry, forget I spoke. We should go. <sighs> it's no use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do.
so cold. Painfully so. Unbearably. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Gali in rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United. As one people, one race cleansed of imperfections. It sounds like fascism. A cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? But the truly sad truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems. And the most efficient way of solving them? To reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone. A cloud, a cloud. A flower, no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man. Divided according to race, creed, or allegiance. And to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth, but what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics, to see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Huh? Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course. But ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand. To refuse to suffer in silence. 
I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. I pray I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong. Stronger than you even... Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you. Or give you a thick ear. <laughs> Maybe both, for good measure. <laughs> Thank you, Alizé. That is. The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. A truer pair of siblings I've never seen in a game. Hmm. Yeah, their 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 relationship has definitely evolved over time. And they've actually they've actually grown. You know, it's like it's one of those things where like, you know, y you can tell it's a very long game, very very long. But over the course of this whole thing, as many times as I've streamed it and have been following the story and have not resorted to spoilers or anything, it's really interesting to see the growth of a character. The character... The character building in this game is unreal. Never seen it like this. It's nuts. We're only three areas into this expansion too, Adi. We've only got... We've got three more whole zones to see. Oh, wow. Holy heck. They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. Looks like you failed, buddy. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. Uh-oh. Here we go. Ambush! Time to put this down. More are coming! Make ready! We, the loyal soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald, of the fallen Emperor Varys, 
shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return! Uh. Stop, both of you! This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. <laughs> we received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th, and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the 10th's conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turned to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies. Every word. It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. You have been listening, my lord? What... What are your orders? Inform her that we will honor the Tenth's decision. Wow, this was a cutscene. Hey, friend, dude, wanted to say I'm sorry I can't raid you tonight. We'd like to finish Endwalker, so we'll be going for probably another couple of hours. Corrosia, you're such a good bean. Hope you're doing splendid, and don't forget how wonderful, splendid, and valid you are. Take care, friend. Corrosia, you are heckin' amazing. I'm giving you a shout-out anyway. Y'all, everyone in the stream, y'all really need to check out Corrosia. So Corrosia is also a variety streamer that streams a lot of games that you wouldn't typically see a lot of people playing on stream. And... Corrosia is actually really is a really good friend. So I mean, games like you know, Scarlet Nexus, and they do a bit of Jackbox here and there, but also play some Final Fantasy fourteen among other stuff like Bug Snacks is a really good one too. And uh, their their community is just awesome, and I've met lots of good friends there. And I've been following for a good long time and frequent that stream quite often. So if y'all if y'all enjoy that sort of thing, uh, please please follow Corrosia. Corrosia is really great. I can't say enough good things. Bereft of hope. And now dignity. I release you from your duty. All of you. I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. Was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united, of peace and prosperity.
We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Okay. Thank you for the warning, Roxas. Forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. I have a feeling I know what's coming. Yep. Trigger warning, folks. before it's too late. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. I really, I have, I have no words for that. I very unfortunately need to go now. I've almost drifted off to sleep twice now and don't want to accidentally leave the stream running. My phone gets burning hot when I do that. See you next time and hope that the stream goes well. Alrighty, Great Tree. Thank you so much for coming. The music makes it hit harder, I feel. Uh, you know what, Roxas? I, I totally agree. I agree with that. Cairo, I don't know if you want me to read that on stream, but same. It does, because it's like, it's the, the music is kind of, it has got this old-timey feel to it. And like the low, their, their low fidelity mix of it, making it sound like it's coming over a phonograph. It's just, you know, like, like Quintus said, they're ghosts of, it, of, of days gone by. Sokin's most well, well played instrument is the heart string. Sorry, I'm just I'm just kind of pausing here for a moment and kind of reflecting and pros and and just processing everything that I just saw. Honestly, Sokin is a master.
We will make no attempt to resist. Much and more has occurred since last we met. As for determining what comes next, we must speak with Lord Quintus. Before we proceed, tell me what you know of the First Legion and the disposition of their fo forces. They were preparing for war while refugees in their care were left to go hungry? A reckless, short-sighted plan that risks the welfare of the people they are sworn to protect. Nevertheless, we cannot compel them to accept our aid. If we were to arrive in force with the intent to do so, we would only incite panic, but perhaps they can be persuaded to follow one of their own. Go with Eulis back to the station and have him lead the refugees here. Some may be unwilling to or unable to leave, but for the time being, I'll take what I can get. Alfino, Alize, and the scouts sent to extricate them should already be at the station. I will also have our other comrades in the area lend their support should it be needed. Understood. <sighs> okay, so I think I think right now is actually we're we're at a good point. We're at a very good point that we could wrap up. So let me let me figure out who we can raid. Um, if anybody in the chat, including everybody new who popped in and anybody who's listening, if anybody has any suggestions on who we could raid, that would be great. Um, I would prefer to raid somebody that uh, doesn't have quite so many viewers and is possibly playing a similar game uh, than we are. Absolutely perfect would be someone else who's playing Final Fantasy, but I don't think there's many of those folks on right now. Bagel is playing crab game. Uh, I I rated I rated Arctic Deathwater recently. Yeah, most everyone I follow is playing Elden Ring. Yeah, I, I'm I'm starting to see that here too. However. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, TK, TK is playing Aragami 2. Let me check that out real quick. TK is a really good beam. Like, super good. Uh, commercials are killing me. Ugh. Honestly, I think that like any streamer who's actually streaming and looking at other streamers to raid, Twitch could easily make it so I didn't have to sit through a commercial in order to see what somebody is playing. Yeah, you want to watch some origami? Definitely. Oh, well, actually, it looks like uh, TK has some guests, too. Uh, Kiki Senchow and Rornix. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's a... I think that's a good... That's a good idea. That's a heckin' good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Let me come up with a raid message.
think I almost got something going. Give me one sec. Here we go. I got a raid message for y'all. So when we hop over there, spam that in the chat. All right, and let's let's do it. And there we go. So please, please y'all, please stick, please, please, please stick around for the raid. Uh, Tim is. A great friend, and is just plays some like pretty wild games. Does some pretty wild stuff. Does some like raid. Does some like racing games. Um, I know them from uh, my dear friend Russell's streams. Uh, they play like uh, they, what was he playing recently? Sekiro. He was playing recently. He's playing Origami now. He's also played like uh, lots of different Halo titles, which got me inspired to start doing them myself on stream. Um, so yeah, Tim is heckin' great. So, yeah. Definitely spam that raid message. Uh, we're gonna go ahead on over there. And again, lastly, thank y'all so, so much for coming by. And thank you, thank you, Cinny, for the raid. That was amazing. You know, I get to meet a heckin' lot of good beans tonight. And I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, more of you in the future. If you'd like, of course. But at any rate, I think that's going to be it for me. Um, i got to eat dinner and crawl into my nest. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, tomorrow we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be streaming at 6 p.m. PST. Um, perhaps it's going to be a raid? I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, if not, we'll uh, pick up right here where we left off. Also very good beans, but I was like, not, not such a good bean. <laughs> would, be, would, 